Just make sure you keep me right here and I kiss her a good swift one, all right? So how is Portugal? Hey, Nadine. What are you up to? Oh, Buzz needs help selling tickets to the Fifth Street Ball. So I figure if people won't come to him, you go to them. Hi, Ellen Michael. Would you like... Catch you later. Alan Michael, what a surprise. You see her? You seem to be losing track of her a lot lately. Yeah. What's wrong? No, nothing. No. Lost hope, lost opportunities. This isn't about work, is it? I've tried, Eleni. I've tried to keep it separate. I've tried to separate business and personal. I've tried to think of Lucy as nothing more than my office manager, but... All I can think about is what might have been. What might have been? I want her. And not just in the office. Ugh, I look like I'm five. Nothing's right. Well, maybe if you knew what you were doing tonight, it might help. You know, I mean, dinner and dancing, or popcorn and a movie. Just, that's just it. It doesn't really matter. Just, I know that whatever we do is going to be wonderful and romantic. Oh, well, that's good. Can you keep a secret? Of course not. What, are you kidding me? Me? Keep a secret? You're asking me. Yeah, sure. I mean, I can try. I have decided I'm never going to think about Al Michael romantically again. Yes, I know I've said that before a lot, but I really mean it this time. I feel really lucky to have found a great guy like Brent, so I'm going to go for it. What? I mean, tonight could be the night. Why didn't you tell me you were coming back tonight? I would have picked you up. I was in no mood to be human. So it didn't go that well, huh? It went really rough. Got the wicked grandmother, she still doesn't want to give up. She's the one's been like, get this. I fly to Portugal. I rent a car. I go out to the country. That address you found here in the briefcase, right? Right. They tell me she's gone to Monte Carlo. So I go to Monte Carlo. I search around a little bit. I wait. No, no Julia. So what do I do? I fly back to Portugal. I drive out to the country. I find out she's gone to London instead. So I drive back to Portugal. I fly to London. I wait. I search around. No Julia. I fly back to Portugal. I drive back out to the country. They tell me, forget about it. She's gone to New York. So I fly to New York. I rent a cab. I go to Park Avenue. You know how much this is all costing me? <laughs> well, at least she knows that you're concerned. <laughs> so, they tell me she's going out to the country, so I gotta rent a car. I drive out to the country. I see Julia. She's happy to see me. She's confused. Why am I there? She hasn't been in Europe. She doesn't know anything about anybody named Fitzpatrick. She never authorized anybody to come around and talk to us about Ben's welfare. She has no plans for a custody battle let alone send him to military school. So what does that mean? Where's Ben? Well, he's at the movies with Justin. Are you sure he's okay? Well, I should be sure. I mean, the guy... <laughs> I, I brought him there myself. He's there with Justin's father. Look, what... Fletch. What the hell is going on here, man? Simple. This whole thing... is a con. Julia Stoddard never had a thing to do with this. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I still don't understand. It was Roger Thorpe. He wanted me out of the way, and he knew just how to do it. Are you serious? Yes. 
Holly mentioned that to me the other day. I thought she was crazy. Well, Holly is crazy. At least as far as Roger Thorpe is concerned, but let's not forget she's also the world's leading authority on him. Wait a minute. How did Roger know that I was going to see Julie's address in that briefcase? Because that is exactly the way he planned it. He knew to get a couple of smart guys like you and me, he really had to make us work for that address. We were suckered, plain and simple, my friend. So why did Roger want you out of town? I don't know. Holly, I don't care. So you're going to do anything about it? Why should I? Oh, this guy, like, sent you all around the world looking for this Julia Stoddard lady. I'm not going to waste any more time on that creep. The important thing is, is that I'm home, safe. And more important, my son Ben is here, safe. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that you're not going to have anything to do with Holly anymore? What it means is I am no longer going to stoop to playing their crazy games. Mm. Look, I've never been a great fan of Holly's, and you know that. But this is not her fault. I mean, all of this obviously has to do with Roger, and that's all. Forget about it. A plague on both their houses. I am through with Holly. No, let's up the ante. I am through with women. Every single last one of them. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I bet you the next time a beautiful bombshell knocks on that door, I bet you the next thing that you say to her is that... Melinda. Hi. Are you, uh, busy? Uh, no, I'm not. Good. I think we need to talk. The role of David Grant is now being played by Russell Curry. Blake! What's with the suitcase? Oh, would you believe I'm reviewing local lodgings for a travel guide? No, I don't think so. Here. Thanks. Um, what's wrong? Dinah Marler. And if Ross doesn't see it, my marriage is over. Are you saying... You left Ross? Got any vacancies in the boarding house? So how long do you think you're gonna be? Oh, uh, I'd say a week. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I promised Bridget I'd help her out at company today anyway, so... Guess I will call you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Sorry. That's all right. Dinah? Hi, sweetheart. Hi. You've been there a long time? Come on in. No, I haven't been waiting at all. I just got here. Daddy said he wanted to see me. Yeah, I do. Come on in. Oh. Uh-oh. Am I in trouble? No, not really. It's Blake. Uh, I know we talked about this earlier at Eve's shower, and things weren't going very well, and I guess they're still not. Blake tells me that she feels that if you stay at the carriage house... Oh, that... Mom, I knew it. You know... I can't begin to tell you how wretched it's been living over there with Daddy and Blake. Every minute, they're yelling at each other, slamming doors. Yesterday, Blake finally slammed out for good. She did? Yes, and I, I knew she was going to say this was all my fault. Wait a minute. I really, I knew it. Blake, Blake left, Ross? Is she serious about that? I guess so. I just saw her car over Bridget's tacky boarding house. Oh, dear. I tried everything I could to make things better. I tried to be friendly and to be a good guest, but... I don't know. Blake, she wants nothing to do with me. Well, let's look on the bright side, okay? Now you can, now you can come and stay with me. Oh, I couldn't leave Daddy now. He needs me. Well, I think that's kind of the point. You see, I think that Blake feels that she should be the one to be with her husband. It's very hard to share somebody when you're head over heels in love with them. I know, but I needed to get to know my father. Wasn't I supposed to stay? I just think the timing wasn't exactly right, that's all. Well, when will it be? When I'm 40? I, isn't it natural for me to want to make up for all those lost years with you and Daddy? Yes, it is. And you've spent all your time with your father. I think it's time you got to know your mother. I will, you know, when, when the timing's better. That's always the problem with you, isn't it? What? Your timetable changes so much. I mean, when you first came to town to visit, it was just going to be a short one, and then it was going to be a long one. Which is it? Mom, it's hard to make plans when you don't have any money. That's why I was asking about the trust fund. You know, if I had an income, I could stay on and support myself. 
I wouldn't be a burden to you or Daddy anymore, and I could still get to know you. But you said that if you didn't get your trust fund, you would leave. And you're still here. So you want me to leave? Of course not. I want you to stay. But you know, whether you stay or whether you go, I don't think that your trust fund should be the determining factor. Well, that's easy to say when you've got plenty of money. Don't you believe me about wanting to stay to get to know my family? I really, really do want to be here. And I stayed because I thought you wanted it, too. Well, we do. We do. And I also stayed because... Well, frankly, I was hoping that you and Daddy might change your mind about the trust fund. <laughs> well, we're not going to. But if you want to stay, and if you really want to be self-supporting, then you can get a job. As a matter of fact, we can talk about that right now. It has the medicine doctors recommend most to stop the itch and help heal the rash. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine in a couple of years. Yeah, it does take a while. So tell me something, buddy. What's the secret in getting over them, huh? Women? Yeah. <clears throat> Especially the ones with big blue eyes. Big brown eyes, too. Doesn't matter, all of them. You just gotta block them out. It's not easy, but you just have to do it. You just have to close that door on them. Don't think about them. <laughs> yeah, and how do you do that? Oh, you keep very, very busy. You fill every single square inch of your life with something. Work, whatever. Sports. Watching them, playing them, talking about them, whatever. Obsessing about food, you know, like cold beer and Chinese food, cold beer and pizza, cold beer and vanilla ice cream, whatever. The point is, you just keep at it until you no longer notice that they're not around. Sounds good, man. I'll try it. I'm not so sure about the cold beer and the ice cream. <laughs> <but it's not laughs> try it. You might like it. It works for you. It'll give me some hope. <laughs> I got it. Thanks. Uh, Dad, it's Holly. Would you like some tickets to the Fifth Street Ball? So, how many tickets did you sell? I don't know what it is on you. Me or the price or, or the day of the week, but I didn't have one taker. Oh. Maybe you'll do better tomorrow. Yeah. What was Alan Michael doing here earlier? Did he want something? Lucy. But I told him it was probably too late. Oh. <laughs> what do you want? A sports car? House? Big house? Anything. Anything you want. Anything? Well, for me, you don't need tickets. Well, um, how about, uh, that TV over there? You want that TV? All right. Sir, how many tickets for that TV? This TV right here, only 30,000. 30,000. <laughs> Maybe the bear. <laughs> okay, which bear? Louis, Louis, that's what I want. That, over there. Oh, a decoder ring. Yeah. Okay. Hey, if I'm gonna stop crime and save the universe, gotta have it. You got it. It's yours. Sir, thank you. Bridget, have you seen Lucy? Um, you know, you just missed her. She just went out on her date with Brent. Retain card. Retain card. Retain card. This one says, call the police. Yes, she is dog meat. Hey, hey, are those my credit cards? Yeah. So